Hey, Jeremy Cook here, and today I'm going to show how to solder up a JC Pro macro board. We'll put on the uh, the encoder, the buttons, as well as the resistors, and yeah. So uh, yeah, this is a new board. It's got the SDA SCL ground and five volts broken out here, so you can use a screen with it or whatever. You've also got pins six and seven broken out, along with another plus five volts and ground. So it's got a lot of cool features and great for a uh, interface device. This video, I'm not going to go over how to solder on the WS2812 B LEDs. These are optional, and hopefully, if you order this as a as a assembly kit, you'll have some experience, or at least be willing to poke around with it. Because honestly, I'm not very good with it, and I I find it to be a bit of a difficult operation. That that being said, if you are going to do this, just make sure that you align these correctly. The little triangle needs to be pointed toward the lower part of this. I guess it's in the same same way as these hatch marks right here. So. The, Lower triangle there, lower triangle there. You can also buy these, I also sell these assembled, so I, or pre-assembled, so you just have to do this, the through hole parts, not the surface mount, the four surface mount, WS2812B LEDs. They're tested and so you know, you know they work in theory. But anyway, let's go ahead and put it together. Here you wanna solder up the, the Pro Micro board, put the headers on the bottom, and then there's, Lots of ways you could do this. You could use a breadboard or anything else, but here I'm gonna actually use this as the fixture for it. So put that there. And with that arranged like so, you can go ahead and solder, solder the pins together. Once you've connected the top and the bottom, you can just go ahead and fill in the middle out over there. You don't have to necessarily keep it on the, the, the board. At this point, your Pro Micro is soldered up and ready to be attached to the board. So you can attach that and the uh, the, the encoder as well as the, the key switches to it. Turn it over and you're good to go. So at this point, what I'm gonna do is stack up all the parts as they should be in the final assembly. So you got the Pro Micro board and then the switches, you gonna put these all on. as well as the rotary encoder. And we'll worry about these two resistors later. Got those stacked up like that. And then we put the solder, solder jig on it. Just like that. Turn it over. And look at that, everything's presented to you nicely so you can go ahead and solder it. And now all that's left to do is to solder it and then program it. And of course, put the bottom pieces on if, you, if you're gonna use that. And of course, I'm using the soldering jig here that I made. It's 3D printable, so you could print it yourself, but you don't really have to do this. You could just try to set it up on some tooling or, or whatever you have available. And I got everything connected, and all you gotta do now is just flip it over. Look at that, perfect. So there it is, there's a, sh there's a short version of how to solder one of these together. It's maybe a little bit optional, but a good idea to put some 10,000K or 10K ohm resistors through these SDA and SCL pull-up pins. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Of course, you want some sort of keycap, so you could put those on. F1 might not be F1. F4, these just happen to be the ones that I got. So, F2. Feel good. And then you could put the knob on here. Slide it on and tighten it like this. Or, of course, you could use the 3D printed version. You might need to use some, use some glue to help put it on there, but Looks pretty good in aluminum. So of course there's one more thing you gotta have and that's the base to this. These uh, come as laser cut pieces. So, and it's actually just a press fit. So 
Let's see, press this in there. Kind of twist it in. <clears throat> Probably want to take the paper off first. to push down on this a little bit to make sure it was really secure but after that it looks nice it's not gonna not gonna come out anytime soon so we'll go ahead and take the back back paper off or you can leave it if you feel so inclined and at this point you want to put the rubber bumpers on the bottom so they don't slide around Looking good and then just put that on there And at this point, your JC Pro macro board is ready to program, or you could yeah, put on a screen here, or you could put do anything with these GPIO that are broken out. One thing you'll need to keep in mind when programming is this is that it's when it's acting as an HID device or human interface device, you may have programs actually problems actually programming it. Even though it's programmed nominally like an Arduino Leonardo, you may have to press short this ground and reset pen right after you hit the program on the Arduino IDE. And of course, you'll want to make sure you get a data cable, not just a power only cable. I've certainly made that mistake more than once. So hopefully this gave you some idea of how to put it together, and I hope you enjoy your board. Optionally, you, you'll want to use one of these little OLED, OLED screens on this. You don't need to have any sort of resistors wired to it because you've got the resistors in here from earlier. So we'll go ahead and take this apart and then solder it on there. Not this one, you want to go on this one because you've got the SCA and SCL broken out nicely. So let's go ahead and put that there. You can use a header on this, of course, but you could also solder it kind of up just a little bit so you can slide it in there. So To be honest, that soldering job was a little harder than I thought it would be. I had to solder it up here so I could have enough space to get in. Um, I may have a solution for that, so hopefully I'll figure out something for that. Other thing is you might want to put some headers on this. So you could put hook it up to something else to prefer control. And there you go, four headers. Uh, you got ground, five volts, and then seven and six, and then you got all the SDA and SCL pins, all the I2C stuff, so you can run that, that display. So we'll go ahead and screw it back in. Yeah, so you want, I guess you want to screw it in before you solder it that way, so that's kind of a disadvantage too. Cool thing about this press fit is that once you have it in there, you don't really have to worry about holding it. You just kind of screw it in and it holds itself. Once you get this set up, you may find this LED or this LED a bit annoying when, when they go off when you press everything. So if you want to remove them, I'll show how to do that right here. Well, I wouldn't call that desoldering exactly, but I'm pretty sure I destroyed them. So I'll give that a try again, and I think it'll work out. As for what you might want to control with this, uh, these extra GPIO pins, pins six and seven, you could power a uh, fan with it. I've got this Noctua PWM controlled fan. It's actually rated for 12 volts, but works okay with five volts here. Here you just plug it in. Also got this uh, pull-up resistor in here at 2,000 ohms. Let's see, pull this in and 
doing nothing now. But there, I can turn it up and up and up. I'll wait at full speed with that. Pretty cool. I'll do a whole video on that later, but I thought I'd give a little preview of this and see, because I think it's super cool that you can control your computer and a control a fan with this. So thanks for, so much for watching this intro. Hey, you know, the JC Pro macro board, they're available on Tindy in various configurations and kits and stuff. So if you want, do check it out. And thanks so much for watching the video. This is Jeremy Cook signing off.